In this video, we're going to look at how to build an app that implements a simple counter, and we're going to elaborate on it in some interesting ways. So I'm going to start a new project, and I'm going to call this project. Oh, I already have something called counter. Uh, call it counting. There we go. And here it comes. So as usual, I'm going to begin by retitling the screen. So when the app comes up, they'll see the header counter there. And so what we're going to do is put a button and a text box on the app. And every time the button is clicked, the text box value will go up by one. So let me retitle this count. And we're going to rename this button to be count button. And I'm going to go ahead and make the font a little bigger. Uh, I'm going to double it to 20. Whoa. OK, I didn't mean to go all the way to 283. 28, there we go, that's better. Um, just to make it a little easier to read. And there isn't going to be a whole lot going on on this app. And so having a bigger font size can make things look a bit better. So I'm going to do the same thing with this text box. I will boost its font size up to 28. I'm going to make it read only because it's going to be displaying our count. And then its initial text will be the number zero. Um, and then every time we push the button, it'll go up by one. So speaking of which, let's go ahead and program this app. So, oh, let me rename that text box. We'll call this count box. All right, let's go back to the blocks. So I'm going to select when the count button is clicked. What I want to do is look up what's the current count in my count box. And then I want that to go up by one. I want it to be uh, one higher. So I need an add, and then I need a number one, like so. So every time I click that button, I want to look up what's in my count box. I want to add one to it, and then I want to store it back in that box. So I'm going to set the text in the count box to what it was plus one. So I am going to go ahead and test out this app. And it's on its way up. Here it is. And so you can see there's a count button. And every time I click it, it goes up by one. Works pretty well. A uh, very nice little app. Now, we can do some interesting things with this idea of counting that are a little bit more applied or have a bit more of a context. So here's the challenge I want to pose for you. I want you to use this app as a starting point to create an app that is a mood tracker. So that is somebody using the mood tracking app. Anytime they're happy, they'll click a happy button and the happy count will go up by one. Every time they're sad, it'll click a sad button and the sad count will go up by one. So put together that, so modify this so that it becomes a mood tracking app with the happy count and the sad count that goes up uh, accordingly whenever they push the appropriate buttons. So play with that a little bit. Um, then pause the video or pause the video, play with that idea a little bit. And then when you're ready, I will show you my solution. All right, welcome back. Let me show you how I would implement the mood tracking app. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename my count button to be the happy button. And I'm going to change the text on it to be happy. And then likewise, count box over here, I'm going to rename the happy box. Then I'm going to add another button and I'm going to again, give it a nice big 
font size, and that's going to be the sad button. And then I'm also going to add a text box to correspond to that, and that'll make that read only. Well, neither of these text boxes, of course, need any sort of hint um, because no human's going to be entering anything. All right. And then the initial text is zero. And looking at it now, I actually want to reorganize this a little bit. I want to use a horizontal arrangement to group together the happy button and happy box. And then I'll get another horizontal arrangement and put in the sad button and the sad box. So there are a couple other things I want to do for the layout here to make these look a little better. Having the text box, text boxes only taking like half the vertical space looks a little awkward and the horizontal arrangements only you not using the full horizontal space is also awkward. So I'm going to go to horizontal arrangement one. I'm going to tell it for the width to fill the parent. And then I'm going to do the same thing for horizontal arrangement two for the width fill the parent. Uh, oh, whoops, I meant the arrangement with fill parent. OK, there we go. Uh, I didn't actually mean to do that with the button. I'll use the automatic width for the button. So now I'm going to do something similar with the text fields for both the height and the width. I want to fill the parent. And I'm also going to change the text alignment to right so that the number appears on the right hand side instead of the left. That winds up looking a lot better when numbers get above 10. Uh, it means your ones columns are all aligned, your tens columns are all aligned and so forth. All right, so let's go ahead and fill the width and then go to the height, fill parent. And so yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So now I just need to program the sad button. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy what I was doing for the happy button or the sad button. Oh, yeah, I still need to rename the text box for sad. Let me rename that as the sad box. There we go. And so that's that's my program. So this is this simple counter idea with just a little bit of modification, uh, namely renaming some buttons, uh, kind of rethemed the app as being a um, mood tracker. So let me go ahead and connect my AI to companion. I am now scanning the QR code. And it is almost up. OK, so we've got the happy. And sad buttons. And so notice that with the right aligning to the right, um, it looks a little better um, as these numbers increase. All right, so pretty interesting so far, but let's take this mood tracking idea up another level. What if we could modify the background to reflect the mood? So this is going to be a really interesting challenge. You're going to have to put together some of the ideas we looked at in the uh, color apps it, to change the background accordingly. And so just think creatively about it. How might you design the app so that the color of the background changes based on the overall mood? So think about that, ponder that, um, try out some ideas, and then once you've got something or if you um, kind of get lost, and you just want to see how I do it, uh, come back to the video. So go ahead, pause the video now, experiment with this idea a bit, try out some ideas, and then I'll show you how I would do it. All right, welcome back. I'm going to show you how I'm going to have the background color reflect the overall mood. It's quite a lot I'm going to need to do to bring this about. So for starters, I'm going to go back and click on the screen and I'm going to change the title from counter to mood tracker. 
Next, every time a button gets clicked, I want to change the background color. So let's come in here and think about how uh, we might do that. What I have in mind is coming up with a formula for calculating the color based on the contents of the happy box and the sad box. The tr design choice I'm going to make is that happiness is reflected by green and sadness is reflected by blue. So the happier we are, the greener we're going to be, and the sadder we are, the bluer we're going to be. And I'm going to keep red out of this entirely. So I am going to always have a zero for red. Now, for green and blue, what we're going to have is this number 255, but we're going to multiply it by the amount of happy we have versus the amount of sad we have. So to do that, we can calculate a ratio. So I'm going to get a division block out. And so like the amount of happy we have, the happy balance is like how much happy is there divided by the total amount of happy and sad. So let me grab an addition block. And what we'll do is put together a happy box, a sad box. And so what we're going to do is always add together those two values, and that's going to be the denominator of our ratio. Then what we can do is for, and so I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of this because you need one of these for the green and one of these for the blue. So for the green, the more happiness there is, the higher my number should be. And for my blue, the more sadness there is, the higher my number should be. Now, because 255 is the largest possible value for either of these, I need to bring in a multiplication block. And so I want to multiply 255 times my happy quotient, we might call it. And that's going to be my green level. And then. Similarly, oops, I need a multiplication block here for my blue level, and that's going to be the 255 times my sad ratio. So now I need to set the background color to this. So I'm going to go over to the screen and set the background color to all of this stuff. Now, this needs to happen. Whenever I click either happy or sad, so I'm going to copy. This whole thing on over here. And here. So now let's let's try this out. Let's see how this works. This uh, this little idea. So there are a lot of blocks here, but the basic idea is pretty simple. If I have nothing but happiness, then uh, my happy quotient is going to be really, really high. Like if I've got 10 happies and zero sads, then I've got 10 in the numerator and 10 plus zero in the denominator and 10 over 10 is zero, or 10, well, sorry, one, 10 over 10 is one. And that gives me 255 greens. And then if sad is zero, I've got zero divided by 10 plus zero. And so then I have zero blue. Uh, and then, you know, as the counts vary, the numbers can uh, rebalance themselves in a variety of ways. So pretty fun little idea just using a ratio to determine this. So let me go ahead and scan this code. And... All right, so here is my app. I've got my happy and my sad. So I'm going to click happy once, and I am all green now. And I'm going to hit sad once, and now I'm like halfway between uh, green and blue. Uh, now I'm going to hit sad a couple more times. And I get pretty blue. My sad is up to 13 now. I hit it a bunch of times. But I can try to rebalance it with 
some more happiness. And so now I get to the cyan. And if I hit a lot more happiness, now I get greener and greener and greener. And so this is a really neat technique to try to balance out those colors. So let's add a couple more little features to this. One uh, feature that's nice to have is a reset button. So if we want to restart the calculation, we would hit this reset button. So I'm going to go ahead and add a reset button. And what this will do is just set those counts back to zero. So let's go ahead and rename this as the reset button. Now in my blocks, if someone clicks the reset button, then I want to change both my happy box and my sad box to zero. So I'm going to set happy box background color to zero. And oh, no, not background. I need to need to set the text to zero. Whoops. All right. And then I need to do the same thing for my sad box. And then once I've done that, of course, I want to update my color, my background color. OK, so let's try this out. So I am bringing up my app. It now has this reset button. Um, I'm going to put in some happiness. And now let me hit reset and Whoa, I got an error message. Crazy. I got an error 3200. And it's accusing me of having divided by zero. Let me bring it up again. Let me hit this reset button. Trying to divide zero by zero. The result might not be valid. All right, so let's think about looking at the code where I might have divided by zero. Well, when I click the reset button, I set both the happy and sad boxes to zero. And so if I add zero plus zero, I now have a zero in my denominator. And dividing by zero is impossible. It, it, it just can't be done. So that's bad. That's, that's a problem. And so we need to fix that. And a way that we can fix that is have a third number in our math, and we will make that third number a one. So this way, even if both of those are zeros, so I'm gonna get rid of all the various copies of the denominator that I've got, because I'm gonna replace it with this new version. So even if they're both zeros, I can actually have a nice, one in the denominator and I'll get zero divided by one, which will make it black, not necessarily pretty, but it will certainly get the job done. And so I'm just pasting repeatedly my copy of that original. Okay, so now what I can do is go back to my app and Right now it's pretty black, so I'm going to um, hit my reset button now and I don't get any errors. And so if I click happy, I go up to one, two, three, four, five, get some blue reset, takes it to black. So um, the black is not terribly desirable, and we're going to look at some ways to fix that in our next video. Um, but for now, we see we've got a nice working uh, mood tracker. In the next video, we're going to refine this app quite a lot. We're going to, it, it got really complicated, and we're going to find some ways to simplify it. And then we're also going to improve the situation with the reset. So I'll see you next time.